Bonjour, mesdames et messieurs. In this episode, we do a high key effect using only Lightroom 5. Bonjour, mesdames et messieurs, and welcome to episode 60 of my photography, Lightroom and Photoshop tips. My name is Serge Ramelli. I'm a French photographer living in Paris, France. And uh, we are in Paris, and I'm really happy to be here. Last week, I was with my friend Kelvin, and we showed you how to use Photoshop elements to first retouch two RAW files and then merge them into a panorama. This is the final result. You can check out last week's episode. This week, I'm going to show you how to do a very cool, high key, uh, how do you say, like high key, blown out type effect. This is the before photo and this is the after photo. Not only I will show you how to do that in Lightroom 5, but I will also show you how to use it as a preset and create a preset so you can check out on your photos how this style works. Okay, so let's get cooking and let me show you how we do this. All right, so I'm gonna show you using Lightroom 5 how to create a uh, high key or with a sort of lens flare portrait stylized photo. And this is something that uh, I've only been able to do with Lightroom 5 due to the new radio filter. And so first I'm gonna retouch this portrait photo. It's like a lifestyle photo. This is uh, some friends which are getting married and it's the, the pre-wedding shots. And so he, you see there was an umbrella flash there and uh, it's Notre Dame in Paris. It's very romantic and I wanna stylize the photo. Not only I want to stylize the photo, but I wanna keep that style as a preset for future inspiration, ladies and gentlemen. Future inspiration. So let's get cooking. So when I retouch a uh, lifetime, lifestyle, sorry, portrait photo, I open up the shadows like I do on, on my um, landscape photo, but the highlights, I usually don't go to minus 100 because it gives right away a very uh, weird look to the skin. So usually on this one, I'm gonna go about halfway. I'm gonna go like minus 50. Okay, now I'm not gonna do too much retouching because I wanna make a preset, so I'm gonna do like a sort of an average retouching. So I'm just gonna get my whites around plus 23 and my blacks like minus 27. It's a regular zone, you know, for, that works for most of my photos. Now, um, I wanna give this a little um, more sunny look, you know, and you know, a good way to give a sunny look is to go to shade. Now, this is the white balance. If you don't have these options, as you try to change your white balance, I repeat, uh, it's because you don't have a RAW file, it's because you don't have a JPEG file. This is a RAW file, so it works. So, let's go to shade. Now, shade is gonna get, there's a bit too much green in the photo, so I'm gonna take it out with tint and add a bit of uh, magenta, a bit of warmer look to it. Okay, so I kind of like that. Let me show you the before and after. Not much, uh, that's the before, sorry. Let me reset it, that's the before. And that's the after, before, after. So not much of a change. Uh, now, let's go for the highlight look. I wanna maybe crop this photo. Uh, I'm gonna make this more onto them so that we see them a bit better. Make Notre Dame being a bit more straight, something like that. Maybe less space here. Yeah, but uh, the cropping, I'm not gonna save as part of the preset. That's just for that one photo. I just wanna be more onto them. Okay. So here comes the magic trick, uh, radial filter. I'm gonna create one big radial filter here uh, on the right. Okay, now really big, and I'm gonna click on invert mask. What that does, well, if I don't click on invert mask, let's say I boost up the exposure, what that does, it, it boosts the exposure everywhere except in the radial filter. I don't want that, I want the opposite of that. So invert mask. And one thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna blow this up like crazy almost to like plus four something like that and then i'm gonna make this a lot bigger i'm gonna make a big radial filter something like that just about yeah so it takes about like yeah a quarter of the image and then that's very important you see the feather option here i'm gonna put it the whole way to the right what that does if you go the whole way to the left it's you see you can see the circle very neatly which is very natural, looks like ET just landed on our photo. But if you go to the right, it gets very feathered and it's much more nicer. Okay, so that's one thing. Uh, I'm gonna get the shadows. Oh, shadows were already at 100. Yeah, shadows at 100. Uh, highlights, I'm gonna boost the highlights too. I wanna make this really brighter, you know. 
make this way brighter. And then I'm gonna add, because this is the look to this photo, I'm gonna add some yellow and some red. A yellow and red, it's, it's not much. It's gonna act more on whatever it touches, but look at this, before the radial filter, after the radial filter. Okay, that's uh, something, actually I'm gonna make it on this one even bigger. I really want to float the, you know, the, the lights here. Okay, and then on the opposite, uh, uh, to make an even stronger contrast, I'm going to take uh, the gradient filter. I'm going to make a little gradient filter on the left, and I'm going to go do the opposite. I'm going to, um, let me reinitialize this with pressing the Option key or Alt key and clicking on Reset and lowering the exposure. Okay, that's a bit much. So what I'm doing is I'm lowering the exposure and I'm boosting a bit the clarity. Why? Because I want to make a contrast between on the right, very bright light, on the left, very uh, not so dark light, you know, a bit darker, maybe not that much of an exposure, something like that. Okay, and uh, so that's, that's the two key things of the effect. Now, when you do that, uh, watch for the noise, because this is, was very dark and I've put a lot of... Uh, of light onto it so you see it's very grainy and ugly so I need to uh, on this preset make sure that you have some good noise reduction something like around 30, 29 and your color is around like 70 or something that's pretty important and it's just going to take the noise uh, a lot of the noise out actually on this photo I would even go further but for now I'm going to leave it at 30 because I want to make a preset then, oh, I'm sorry, I'm going to boost also the sharpening. So whenever I go to 30 on the noise reduction, I go, I take 100 and I take off my noise reduction number, which is 30, and 100 minus 30 is 70. Uh, and these are, you know, about numbers. You don't need to be so exact. And then make sure you put the masking around uh, 30 or 40. For those who don't follow my episodes, the masking, what that does is if you press on the option key and you press on the masking, you see that the, everything which is black is not going to get sharpened and anything which is white is going to get sharpened. Basically, only the borders are getting sharpened, which is kind of like what we want. So we got a kind of a nice photo. Let me show you the before again. That's the before. Okay, and uh, that's the after. I'm sorry. Let me just go back there. Okay. And so that's it's kind of a neat look, you know. Now, once you've got the look that you want, uh, well you can just save it as a preset. So uh, I'm going to go to my preset. Um, preset, you see, I got a folder there called Photo Surge. That's like some of my best preset. I'm going to click on plus and I'm going to make sure that I'm into the folder Photo Surge. I'm going to call this uh, high key, uh, high key right, because the, the light would be coming from the right. Make sure that auto setting is not on and make sure that graded filter and radial filter is on and click create. And now I have created a preset that I'm actually going to give you for free if you sign up to my blog and I'll explain you that later on. But I'm going to, I've created this preset. I will give you the right and the left preset for free if you sign up to my newsletter. It's a way that I can spam you as much as I want. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just going to send you basically a mail every time I release a course or I'm trying to sell you something. That's just how it works. You know, I need to pay the bills also. So anyways, uh, that's the high key thing. Now, once you've done the preset, you can just take this is just a raw file from the same series, by the way. Uh, let me just click on this one. OK, it's lagging. OK, here we are. And then I can now just go to my left, which where there is my preset in my photo search folder. I've got this high key right and I just click on it and magic it's beautiful let me take another photo from the same gentleman and let's just high key right and I click on it and boom it's I've got a style now you have to understand that preset is just a starting point it's just a way for inspiration you know it's just yeah I can just click on this as a preset from an earlier episode and this is another look you know I can just click back on that you know or go to this I use preset for inspiration and uh, I think this one is pretty cool because the high key look is something which is very popular on 500px on it works really well on lifestyle portraits so uh, now if you want to get the presets for free all you have to do ladies and gentlemen it's pretty simple is go to the uh, to my website which is photosearch.com 
and then you go to news sign up and when you come there you just put your name and your email then I, I will send you a newsletter every time I get uh, a new tutorial out a new podcast out so you will get it by mail but also you will get a confidential page called the goodies page and on this page you have dozens and dozens of free presets and raw files values for hundreds and hundreds of dollars because some of these photos have a lot of value to me and have a lot of values even with galleries and you get all that for free all you have to do is sign up for the newsletter uh, last but not least uh, if you want uh, me to do a tutorial on something specific or you have some difficulty please leave a comment uh, below this video on youtube so that i can see what you think of that video and what you would like me to do a tutorial on voila thank you very much for your attention and let's get back to the studio okay guys i hope you like that tutorial i've got some great news for the black and white fans the new tutorial from jean-michel Bert is out the art of black and white part two landscape here you can see some of the final results it's very different from number one if you have done number one you will see it's very different there's a whole bunch of new techniques that jean-michel is showing and you should really check it out uh, you have this this one code which is still active so you can get 20 dollars off this is a launching price a release price thank you very much for being there guys and i will see you next week wow, 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 wow.